Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and this video is my final design of the week using this week's nail team glitters of the week, the small unicorn flakes. So to see my thinking behind this one and how I created it, please keep watching. So it's another design for Liza, my red iguana hand. I've applied the gem stiletto tips and just chopped them down slightly to create more of a long coffin tapered square design. And I am giving them a good clean over, getting rid of any dust and fluff and whatnot. So gems acrylic as always, and again, as always, crystal clear. It is a must have in all acrylic designs. Um, for colour, I am using a Tabitha. This is a beautiful, soft pastel green, gonna be fantastic for summer, uh, for spring even. And Ophelia, this is one of the glitter mixes. It's sort of a green iridescent, fine, it's beautiful. And the unicorn flakes I'm using in this design are these beautiful yellow flakes. And I have also got the green flakes. I thought these two would be really nice together and it would just add a little bit of um, a little bit of colour to the design. I also wanted to use one of these shell sheets. These are also from the nail team. I can't remember which number it is, but I will leave that in the description box. And this shell sheet is self adhesive. So you just cut it to size and stick it on. And I'm using the cape brush for this design. So thin clear base going down now. And I actually alternate between Kate and Eleanor, depending on the length of design. But when I was doing this one, I thought, actually, I think I want to use the Kate a little bit more. I don't know why, what it was, but I really liked it. But Eleanor is a size eight and Kate is a size 10. There's not a huge amount between them. I normally go smaller. Um, I have to say I'm loving Kate. Anyway, just doing this thin clear base, making sure there's no fluff or bits in there. If it is, just try and pick it out before I go in with the design. Cause this is a very soft design um, and a little bit of iridescence going on. So that would show through. And um, once I'm happy with the design, uh, with the thin clear base, sorry, I'm going to get started on the design. And the first thing I'm using is that shell sheet. So as I said, it is self adhesive. So you can get the bits of shell from Amazon, eBay, wherever. But I really, really love this. So I've cut uh, sort of a triangle shape so I'm going to do this from the tip going down on a on a bit of a slanty edge so you peel the backing off like so and then place it on the nail where you want and it does bend and it does it does sort of crack to the shape of the nail but you don't want to worry about that because it just adds to the design but you just really push it down bend it to the shape of the nail and stick it in place and I've done this on the index finger and the pinky it's all going to be encapsulated, so don't worry if there's any little bit sticking up, but I want to stick it and push it down as best I can. It is really flat, so we're not worrying too much about uh, bulk or it's sticking up. And now I'm going in with Tabitha and I'm placing this from the cuticle down the nail on the other half of the design. And when I was doing this, I thought, if you cut this shell with that straight line, you've got like an easy, already done color block. Cause you just need to fill in the colored acrylic next to it, or even put the colored acrylic down first, place that in and you're done without any filing and whatnot. Uh, I did just fade that out slightly at the edge with Tabitha because I was going in with some flakes and I wasn't worried too much. Uh, on the middle nail, I've gone in with Tabitha at the cuticle and I've just, uh, I'm just sort of fading it down just roughly past the free edge of that base layer. Now I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I had no idea what I was going to do on the middle and the ring finger in this design. Uh, I was making it up as I went along. I do that quite often, but in some cases I have a rough idea. In this one, I had no idea. 
on the pinky exactly the same as the index finger so I've just applied that from the cuticle and I'm just painting it down the nail following the line of that shell uh, if I did get any acrylic on it just swiping wiping it off uh, and I'm just gonna let that set so I'm now going in with Ophelia it's really hard to see on camera but it's beautiful uh, it's a fine iridescent with a slight greenness to it I've just applied that over top of Tabitha on the middle finger and then I decided to apply it on the ring finger from the cuticle just going down halfway just on its own on that nail little bit of a wash of clear acrylic here and I'm going in with those unicorn flakes I'm just sort of picking up one color patting that on picking up the next color patting it on and I'm just overlapping this um, on where that join between the shell and the acrylic is it, I'm not looking to cover it completely because then I would need more of a a full coverage glitter uh, I'm just putting it over the top just to just to add a little something something extra just patting it down making sure I don't breathe I don't cough I don't speak I don't sneeze because if you do any of those things whilst using these unicorn flakes there'll be none in the pot but there'll be a lot everywhere else because they go everywhere and then I'm going to just apply these at the tip of the middle nail and just overlapping them with Ophelia. Again, into one, pat it on into the other. So I've got a bit of a mix of both flakes. And then I decided to do a whole nail of them on the middle, no, on the ring finger. So I am sort of patting it over where I put that Ophelia glitter. Um, so I can still see some of it through, but I've got crystals on, uh, not crystal, I've got flakes on all of the nails. I did then decide at the end I was gonna add crystals onto this nail. So it was just a bit of chuck everything on and hope for the best. Exactly the same on the pinky, just where those two meet, the shell and the acrylic, just a nice line down there, just one color, then the other, mixing the two together, holding my breath, hoping no one comes into the room, opens the door so there's a big gust of wind, or they talk, or they expect me to talk, because uh, I'd rather keep my flakes in the pot. And then I decided on the middle finger, I had a few, I had a little bit of that shell um, sheet that was left over when I cut off. So I still had the bulk of the square, but I had a little bit. So I decided to cut it into teeny tiny little shards and then just stick them on. It was fun. It was really fun. I mean, it looked fabulous, I thought, but God, it was fiddly. So I just little like cut it how you might cut angel paper when you want shards of it. But then I had to pick each little piece up to take the backing off to stick it on the nail. I dropped a few pieces, I'll probably find them in the next year or two on the floor or on the bed or somewhere um so yeah it's a little bit faffy fiddly um but i just cut them on so it's almost like a, a sharp broken glass look or broken shell in this case um yeah so i just kept doing that until i'd used all of those little pieces of shell that i'd cut up from that little bit i had left over so i still got a nice square sheet left um I only wanted to do the tip sort of halfway up the nail um, and then yeah that was it I did add a few more flakes on top of that nail just 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 at the very edge of those flakes where they fade out should we say not that they fade out but you know what I mean uh, and then that was sort of this design done and despite the fact not having a clue what I was going to do on two of these nails I quite liked it already um, so yeah I'm just fiddling Faffin, this is where you definitely want good little tweezers. Um, and you see, I'm just sort of turning my hand, turning it around, seeing how it'll fit best. And Christ, I'm still going. I had more little pieces of shell than I thought I did. I did do it so it was on a bit of a slantiness, just to follow the other nails. Um, but I didn't want to fully cover the nail. Here we go. I must be nearing the end now. Yeah there we go uh, so yeah I just added a few flakes just along that uh, line 
and then we're ready to encapsulate this design in clear acrylic build up my apex all my structure make sure this is all fully covered before file into shape and then we can finish this design off So these are now all filed. I'm going to give them a good wipe over, get rid of any dust, fluff, what not that I don't want on the nail. And then I'm going to add some decoration to the ring finger. Now I really wasn't sure what I was going to do. So I looked through all my little charms and embellishments and whatnot. And I came across this little tub of them from Sheen and I noticed this sort of iridescent seashell and I thought oh that's gonna work perfectly with this design. I then found this little tray I've got it's almost like chips of seashells again Sheen and then I just picked out some AB crystals and some little silver embellishments seashell embellishments. So first of all I'm gonna place on that larger iridescent seashell because I always place my biggest charms first and then build up around it flash cure it in place so we know that is stuck down and then I'm gonna mix and match between those little chips of seashells and the AB crystals to create this design now that seashell is quite a big embellishment and I appreciate it is not going to be to everyone's taste so you could leave it out you could leave out the crystals and the bits and pieces all together and just have a plain nail but I have I've honestly I've got so many of these little decorations from Sheen that I really want to start using them a little bit more so as I said I'm just sort of placing alternating just playing around seeing what fits and then when I've done a few bits and I'm happy with how they are I'm going to flash cure it just so that they don't move around as I continue to build up the design and by flash curing it if you're not 100% happy with them then they're stuck down but they're not fully fully stuck down so you can just lift sort of ping them off <laughs> it's a technical term ping them off uh, and redo you just want to sort of buff over the nail to get rid of any of that gel that's left in place um, and yeah, it, I just like, I don't really have any plan when I'm doing this. I just sort of see how it looks and how I'm feeling. Adding in one of those silver shell embellishments. These you can get anywhere that does nail art stuff. Uh, and you can also encapsulate, encapsulate these in acrylic. They are quite flat. And yeah, so just continuing to build up between those little bits of shell and the AB crystals until I am happy again as I said it's not everyone's taste I do appreciate that and you could just do a couple of crystals at the cuticle it's sort of entirely up to you but I do have a lot of these sort of charms embellishments and decorations and I really do need to use them more but I highly recommend checking out Sheen for the nail art sheets of stickers and the charms and whatnot because they've got loads and really good prices. Once I'm happy with the placement of all of those, I've popped in the lamp to cure for a full 60 seconds and now we are going to top coat these nails. And this is where we are really going to see those unicorn flakes, those shell sheet pieces that... Ophelia glitter is really going to wake up, it's going to come to life and you can properly appreciate it now. On the ring finger I will pop some top coat on the nail where there's space and then I'll just go in with my detailer brush to get right up to those uh, crystals and shell pieces uh, and just really help secure them in place but not top coat over top of them. And then we're going to pop in the lamp for a full 60 second cure and this design is complete. And here they are, fully cured and 
done. Although don't forget, if you are working on an actual human client, you want to let that top coat cool down ever so slightly, or not slightly, completely, and then finish off with your cuticle oil. That is the end of this video and also the end of the Unicorn Flakes Glitters of the Week. Uh, so I'd love to know what you thought of all of my designs and don't forget if you check out my Instagram you will find a few more designs on there. I will pop links and product details in the description box and don't forget if you are shopping at the nail team you can use my discount code HELEN5 for 5% off all full priced products. Please give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't already, I'd love it if you would subscribe and check out some of my other videos. But that's it for this one. I will see you in another video very, very soon. Uh, but thank you as always for watching and um, that's it from me. Bye. Mwah.